Global share markets were fairly quiet on Monday trading as several countries celebrated their respective holidays. European markets were up just slightly, however the euro currency was under some pressure. Of the companies that have announced their earnings results on America's S&P 500, 72% have beaten market estimates for profit levels. This has given investors some level of confidence that the recovery is sustainable. Concerns about government debt levels is still at the forefront, however this does seem to have dispersed a little bit over the past few days. On the currency front, the New Zealand dollar is trading at a very similar level to yesterday, trading at 69.80 against the US on Tuesday morning. While a recovery in dairy prices and a pretty good year for the sheep industry was good for New Zealand's economic recovery in 2009, it was really driven by households that gave the country a good perk up. However, data out recently does put some of this into question as to whether this is sustainable. Retail sales data out at the end of last week was pretty good, but just not as good as what we had hoped for. Housing market data also indicates that some of the sting is coming out of the residential housing market, and this could hurt consumer confidence. With unemployment at 7.3% currently, this will also hurt consumers in the pocket. All this does indicate that we may see slower than expected growth coming out of this recession. A good indication that we are still seeing strong demand for our higher end protein products is the amount of chilled lamb we are currently exporting. We're currently up about 25% on this time last year on the levels of chilled lamb going out of the country. This does indicate to me that our main markets want our lamb but also want our best lamb. We are now into the second year of good overseas prices and the medium term prospects for our main markets are very good. New Zealand is filling a lack of global supply for lamb meat at this present time. While the dollar is unlikely to soften significantly in the short term, when it does, this will be positive for New Zealand farmers.